Now I gotta take it all off. Hello everybody, my children, my lovelies. Today I'm going to be doing a video on a special effects scary ass pig. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Um, I have plans to do a scary pig, um, a funny video, and then another scary animal for this October Halloween season. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, share, whatever. And if you guys have any comments about any of the steps that I'm taking on the products that I'm using, please don't be afraid to leave comments below. Let's do this. All right, just a heads up, the lenses, they don't totally fit my eyeballs and so they keep moving around so they're like not straight. It's kind of annoying me, so sorry if it annoys you too. Next step number one is going to be to slick my hair back. You can use either Vaseline or you can use like a hair gel. I'm gonna use a hair gel and then use like Vaseline on other areas, like around the edges. But first I wanna take it out of here and kind of braid it or twist it, whatever, and just secure it to the very bottom of my head. Do you guys see these lenses? What? What? Oh, it's so distracting. I have to fix them. It drives me crazy. All right, now I've got my hair all smoothed down. I'm gonna put on a bald cap and I wanted to give you guys a quick little tip and it's kind of a secret, but you can go to Walmart or wherever and get the cheapest, most like ugly looking bald cap. And this one was $3 at Walmart and it is it is like hella thick, okay? That's not really what you want for a realistic looking bald cap. So what I did with this little baby was I pinned it to one of my styrofoam heads and I just did like 15 layers of latex. And when I was done with it, I powdered it, I took it off, and what I got was this perfect thin, thin, thin latex bald cap professional style. Like it's, and, and the best part is, this thing is so plasticky and chunky that I can reuse this over and over and over again. And the styrofoam heads are like $5. So yeah, she just figured out how to make a bald cap without a balloon and without a redhead, so. Ta-da! Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. I can stretch this all the way over ear, over my ears so I don't have ears. Like what? This is amazing. And the edges, if you guys are into special effects or you do special effects as an artist, you will appreciate these thin, thin edges. <laughs> Plenty in the back. All right, I'm gonna apply just a little bit of liquid latex here. Avoiding the hairline. Sticky. Sticky. So basically I just took some cotton along the bottom line of the bald cap and I just kind of brought it all the way down here just to give me a little bit of an of like a third chin that's what she always needed and now I'm going to attach the ears basically what I got are elf ears and I clipped a little bit of the end off and I attached a little bit of latex and a bit of cotton on there just to kind of give it like a better grip Since I usually don't have eyebrows, I thought, why not let the pig have some eyebrows? 
Moving on to the nose and the snout. All right, now we've got our prosthetics on. I'm going to dry this for quite some time. And then once it's all dry, set it with powder and then we can start a painting. <laughs> All right, next up we do a little bit of shading and contouring. Of course, add a black eye. I'm slowly getting rid of, or at least dying down the look of some of the texture by blending a black and a brown together and then just throwing her on. All right, and the finishing touch is gonna be a little bit of white and a little bit of black hairspray for like some spotting and whatnot. I tried the brown, but you really couldn't see it. So what else? And last but not least, we need a little Vaseline just to highlight some areas. All right, kids, all I got left are a couple of accessories and final bits and bobs, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, and here's my full zombie year of the pig look. I hope you guys all like it. It was a lot of fun making it. I feel kind of cute. I'm feeling kind of cute, I gotta say. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!